On many Porsche models, the Germans installed a specialized pulley onto the alternator, called a freewheeling pulley, that allows the alternator to freewheel and bleed off inertia between abrupt higher RPM engine speed changes. This helps prevent wear and tear on the belt and mitigates the risk of the belt jumping off. Unfortunately, this is fancy, and fancy things are more complicated and like to break. In this video, we show how to diagnose this pulley, how to replace it, the parts and tools required, and share a trick on how to make it easier to remove. A check battery alternator error is not always caused by a non-functional alternator on the Porsche Boxster. If your battery is not charging, then it's entirely possible you don't need to replace the whole alternator, just the pulley. You'll need access to the inner engine bay from behind the seats. If you don't know how, use my guide here to see how to access the engine bay compartments and remove the inner carpet and inner metal cover. Optionally, you can use this guide to remove the passenger seat to give yourself more space to work. Using a 24mm socket and breaker bar, unseat the belt from the alternator pulley. It goes both ways. It just doesn't make any sense. It should, that thing should be done. Let's look at the new one. Old pulley. Goes that way. Goes this way. Oh, goes any way you want. While the rotor of the alternator is stationary. The pulley slips both directions. And of course, when engine works, rotates pulley. The generator rotor is stationary. No electricity generated. And here's the new pulley. The good one. It is possible to rotate it one way. There it goes. See? But not the other. That's nice. So, so the belt is gonna pull this way and rotate the generator. But when the engine, when you rev up the engine, the engine revs up and then stops. And then pull the generator rotor, alternator rotor keeps going by inertia. Again, engine catches up and speeds up pull the alternator again. And then you again ease off the gas pedal and the alternator keeps going by inertia. And then you and then you repeat and repeat. So that's the problem that you have here. Compared to the old pulley, the new pulley bleeds inertia in only one direction, not both. And there's much more resistance on its movements. The bearings are not destroyed. You don't hear that grating metallic sound. Oh, wow. Ну, она в другую сторону. Вот. Крутится. Так. А в эту не крутится. В эту не крутится. Mm -hmm. You'll need a specialized tool that holds the alternator pulley in place while the other part of the tool unscrews it. It looks like this, and the part number is linked in the description. You need a bigger thing? and you just put it together like so. Then you take your 17 millimeter key, put it on the setup. So it looks like this. And you take the black piece and you put it in like so. The inner piece holds the alternator pulley stationary while the outer piece unbolts it. You need to make sure that the tool is entirely seated properly. Otherwise you risk stripping the threads inside, making the alternator pulley unremovable. The trick to breaking this stubborn alternator pulley loose is you can put the inner wrench on the firewall, probably wearing gloves in hindsight, and using the breaker bar and turning it clockwise. That will help the wrench apply counterclockwise force and breaks the alternator pulley loose. I got it. Okay, hold. With that, the pulley is removable and we proceed to install the new one. To install the new pulley, we insert the tool with the black socket on it, hold the alternator in position using the silver piece and using the black socket, install the new pulley. We then tighten it. Reinstall the belt onto the alternator. If you need a guide on how the belt goes back on, feel free to reference this video. 
reinstall the seats, and exit service mode. Enjoy the additional mileage you've gained by replacing the pulley. Thanks for watching.